Hello, my fellow Israelites. I'm your host, Mr. Israeli Lover. And right now, we are in Red Flood at the beginning, or really kind of in the middle-ish, of a new campaign, playing as everyone's favorite country, the Zionist Revolt, led by Avraham Stern. He's a militant Zionist, did you know? But we're fighting for the Zionist cause, in which... Our time has come. Every true Israeli shall take arms and wage war against the long-term oppressors. Our ideas may be different, but our dream is the same. A sovereign state on the land of Israel, led by Hebrews and no one else. It is time to finally rise and take what's rightfully ours. Now, I think I've already done this path before. Um, but I played as Mr. Uh, Albert Einstein. But this time, I want to go down a different route for the good old uh, Jewish nation here. So, oh, The Hobbit is published. Very cool. I want a copy of it now. Yes, that'd be very good. Actually, you guys aren't really winning here, so you guys hold. You guys actually go right here, then. See what you can do and go to Ma'an. Ma'an. Now, I've they might have updated this. Uh, this one's not really doing that well here. But it's fine, whatever. How many divisions do they have over here? Oh, they have quite a few. Well, that's the case. We'll hold then. Let's hold. Cover the line if we can. Let them spread out, and we'll hopefully do okay. Coordinate the militias. The desperate groups forming the Zionist revolt must work in unison to survive. The future of our people depend on it. Oh, that sucks. You're not going to do that, son. We're taking Jerusalem now. We definitely can hopefully take it now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hopefully we don't fail here. I definitely want Jerusalem. Give us Jerusalem, baby. Ah, yes, yes. That'd be very good, very good. Followed up with the... Ooh, the Haganah joins the socialist paramilitary unit, the Haganah, offered us their aid in the struggle for the Holy Lamb. Protecting Jewish settlements until this point, they can mobilize hundreds of experienced militiamen, increasing our chance of deriving out the king from Israel. Hurrah for the Haganah! As long as we're winning there, that's what I really care about. Here, not so much. If we have to leave here, so be it. Hold. And you guys go down there. We're going to extend this out to about right there. Cool. As long as we get Jerusalem, that's all I care about, man. <clears throat> It's actually a little bit more difficult than I than last time so far. So, uh, more population, stability, war, so it's been pretty nice. For a while, we've been reestablishing ourselves on that land of Israel, forming our cities and developing communities, all the while facing constant threat of expulsion or destruction. Now the blue and white banner and a call to arms are asserted to defend our communities from present and future attacks by militants. It is the Haganah's goal to fortify and to push back against threats to our community in Eretz, Israel. Very cool. Alright, head on over there, boys. See what you can do. Uh, I would don't recommend getting that one yet, so actually, you go back. I need you to come to Jerusalem and help us take it out. Jerusalem will be ours. Ah, defense of the Yishuv. And Lahi Orgon operations. Many militias or paramilitary units are setting aside their differences to ensure the survival of the state against the enemy. While the larger Haganah maintains the defense of our countryside, the two national militias must fight and establish a proper military force. <clears throat> Very good. And... Oh, come on, beat him up. Mohammed needs to be defeated. We got it. Nice. You immediately will die here. You attack us, we will kill you off here immediately. Ah, very good, very good, very good. Sabotage supply lines, that'd be quite good, I suppose. <clears throat> Raid for supplies, yes, so. The British stockpiles in the region from last year's revolt are still lying around somewhere. Time to dig them up. Ooh, actually, since you're attacking here anyways. Tel Aviv. Let's go bomb Tel Aviv. <laughs> Alright, ready for supplies. And the Israeli conscription laws. In order to keep the war effort alive, we need to introduce new conscription laws. It is the duty of every one of us to join the struggle for homeland. We're fighting not only for our freedom, but the freedom of our sons and daughters too. We need to mobilize every capable man, woman, man and woman for the defense of the country, now and forever. We're only attacking to help defend ourselves. And we've almost gotten them all done. And what is next? Sabotage supply lines? The Mashudic armies will pose much less threat without ammo and reinforcements. Our reconnaissance brigades will begin disrupting their lines with targeted operations. Oh, we can do some of this stuff here. Accelerationists get more stability. Um, civilian economy, early economy would be pretty nice. Anything else here? Well, that's probably the best way. More political power would be nice. I would like to get more attack. Industry is not bad. Ooh, nuclear physicists and such like that. Commando would be cool. More less black stuff would be very nice as well. Um, I'm really wondering if we could attack up there. Oh, and there goes some of the people doing some stuff. Do you guys actually win up here? Maybe it'd be kind of nice if we could. Yes, hopefully. Yes, hopefully. Um, Ma'an's gonna be a pain in the butt to take. We need mountaineers or something like that. So, 
Okay, cool. And that's all we can do for now until the war is over, which it should be over relatively soon since we did win and taken basically all of the West Bank, Negev, and the Coastal Plains, so... Alright, five divisions. Let's see what we can do. Can we do anything here? Probably not. I mean, finding an amount's really bad. Really bad, so... Oh, boy. That's not good. Yeah. We're gonna keep expanding out some other way here, then. Hmm. I'm gonna send you guys back up here. I want you to attack there. Excavation would be very nice. Very nice. It is, of course, 1937, everyone. It's almost time for 38. Go to that one. That's fine. All right. I don't like that they're not attacking us, though. That doesn't make too much sense to me. Why are you not attacking us? And we have no planes. We don't have that much here at all. Coordinated militias. Ooh. Can we get a Damascus? Can you guys actually just keep them here for now? Well, we got Damascus. Ah, and the Sabbath ceasefire. After an intense and bloody war, the armies of the Mashriq have been defeated at last. Expelled from Palestine and Jordan, the forces started to shamefully retreat towards Syria until they finally re relented and agreed in a cessation, a cessation of hostilities. The war took a heavy toll on both Israel and Mashriq, but the biggest casualty was the reputation of G King Ghazi and his domain, whose domestic policies during the war have been a great source of additional unrest elsewhere in the country. A manifesto urging French expatriates to reject the so-called king in Syria are circulating in Lebanon. While in Damascus and in the cities, protests are increasing in frequency and intensity. Sweet victory. Perhaps Lebanon has a nicer weather? We can play as them, but I don't think they have a unique focus tree, so... The Jews won their freedom. Why can't we? <clears throat> and they don't have a unique focus tree. That's okay. And there are other... Revisionists of Zionist split. Who the revisionists are, like most groups in Zionist politics, not unified. The Herut of Ze'ev Jabotinsky have come to blow to the Lehi of Yair Stern of the Lehi's radicalism. Or conversely, the Lehi's uh, refusal to adhere to Jabotinsky's so called milk toast approach to Zionism. The organizations are poised to split, which empowers a non revisionist argument. But this could turn. Uh, this turn could also push Lehi towards more radical direct action. I'm still making some. Oh, military factors. That's actually really good. Well, these would be nice, because all we have are guns right now. Oh, and, uh, yeah. I don't trust the Lebanese, but I don't trust the Jordanians, I don't trust the Egyptians, I don't trust the, the British either. I don't trust any of them. As we shouldn't, really. Very good. And we still have this one, too. <clears throat> Israeli conscription for now. Ah, fuel refining. Very good. Uh, let's grab some more gun stuff, just in case. You never know. And uh, democracy established. Side with the Stern gang. Hmm... National rebirth sounds like fun. Accelerationist Jews, cultural rebirth. You know what? Maybe we'll go down that way. And very soon we'll have this done, which will be very very nice. And let's we'll see what happens with it. I have no idea. Actually, for this one. Ah, cool. Let's give them the movement. Now that Israel's won its independence and the ineffectual state of Mashriq has been dealt with forever, the Zionist movement has reached a critical point in its history. With the Jewish state secure from British colonialism and Arab revolution, there's no longer anything left to unify the various political factions of the state. As the label Zionists, the Pole Zionists, or Zion, and the revisionist Zionists under Zeev Jabotinsky attempted to form a new government, radicals in the Lehi, or in the Ergun, turned on Jabotinsky, declaring him to be a false Zionist despite being the founder of their ideology. Jabotinsky is responded by reaffirming his pro-government position, labeling the Ergun and Lehi as treasonous rebels merely masquerading as Zionists. Haim Vizman, provisional president of Israel, made attempts to mediate the conflict between the two groups, but was unsuccessful in even getting them to agree to a negotiation, in a last-ditch effort to avoid persecution of the newly formed Mossad. Alfred Hamstern has led joint Elgun Lehi forces in an assault on the capital in an attempt to arrest Jabotinsky and coup the government. As Stern's cabal tried to march up the steps <coughs> of the capital building, they found Haganah, militias waiting for them there. Thinking quickly, Stern improvised a speech to sway them to their side. Militias responded by rounding up and placing everyone under present under house arrest, <clears throat> laying down the weapons, and allowing Stern soldiers to arrest Jabotinsky and the rest of the government. Why not? Side with a Stern gang. Only Lehi, which I'm probably saying wrong, can defend Israel from the outside threats, as only they will build Israel as God intended. I hope that uh, no one comes to try and kill us off. Oh, we should probably some divisions, too. What do we have here? 12 combat width. <clears throat> oh, that's not too bad. Haganah. Yeah, I like the Haganah ones. Like Hagen does. Yeah. Let's duplicate you guys. Um, let's call you 20s. Why not? You're not 20s. We'll make two of you. Okay. 
probably guys kind of nice. Actually, since we've mobilized already, use up all that manpower. <clears throat> Your generous victory in the Spanish Civil War. Ah, oh, Fada Unos. Very good, very good. Anything else here? Oh, better artillery, I guess. We could do that, because why not? Um, oh, we have a lot here. I would like to get some more stability, though. <clears throat> but at the same time, I would like to uh, go to partial mobilization. Get more millies, please. Oh, we're making some support equipment. Very nice, very nice. Stan gang, baby. A stern ruined Zion. In a shocking turn of events, the radical Zionist group known as Lehi, headed by Avraham Yair Stern, has seized power in Israel. Stern, a long-time Zionist and visionary, has grand goals for the new nation of Israel. A new glorious nation which stretches from the Nile in the west to the Euphrates in the east, a true homeland for the long-oppressed and forgotten Jewish people. With the Zionist visionary Stern as head of Israel, we have great hope for the future as a nation and its people. ha tek uh, Rifa al-Munir was a simple merchant who lived in a fairly simple life. He gave some rice and wheat as tax money for local Mashriki authorities alongside actual currency. His family was large and his skills in selling larger. He had seen everything up to this point, from Jewish travelers to Russian dockyard workers, and so he didn't fear one bit when the Zionist revolt occurred. These people weren't enough to cause trouble, no, not in his beloved Al-Quds. Rifa al-Munir found himself being stomped on, his teeth falling into the dirt and his chest in severe pain. His mouth bled profusely and his bones cracked at the fierce feeling of the leather against his cheek. Perhaps this wasn't the time to be reflecting on the past. Oh boy. Hem hibri ho em agul. school. A man above him spoke a language he didn't understand very well, even if it sounded a little similar to his native language. He felt the boot stomp on him harder. His weapon, which he used to fend off against the Zionist rebels, was a couple meters away from him, and he felt his heart ache. Next to him, he saw a man with a pale complexion, blue eyes and curly hair. He wondered what he was doing on the ground. He ritz yishur baskumul... I don't even know how to say this. H-word and B-S-word. He begged. He was trying to cry as his, only, as his eyes only shed blood, and his consciousness slipped out of his out of himself. He saw the pale man be taken away, screaming in a similar language to the one done by the speaker, his comrades on the ground being rudely taken upwards to a dirt wall next to the commotion. <clears throat> and some other words I don't know. And as Rifa felt the boots break his skull even further, he saw the pale's frail pale friend be dragged onto the wall and be tied up in some way. He continued watching, but his consciousness slipped away like the dirt in his face drenched itself in blood. He could only wonder what they, what they were saying. The men whom. Oh, and the guy stops being a general. It is what it is. And what do we have here that we're outdated? Into our fighters? Oh, okay. That makes sense. We're going to need some fighters for where we're headed to, so. The Great Hamburg Dock Strike. Very cool. If it's somewhat relieving to see the Red gi Giant battling against itself. Very cool. And National Rebirth. We get political power less ex and more accelerationism, but nothing else there, even in terms of description. And are we still mobilizing? Oh, we are. That's actually really nice. That's actually really, really, really nice. So we can make a, this, what, this Millie. And they'll go back down to the cities. So I think that'd be really good to do. We can only get 1.32 political power a day. Very good. Oh, there goes Green Ukraine. Oh, you guys do really well. I did go with four um, attack just because I want as much attack as possible. But we'll see what happens. National rebirth. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, we can come over here and get some more PP, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? 1.43. Not bad. What else do we have? Mr. of the Interior. Not bad. I like that. Um... Oh, so we can't use this one. We got Peretz Bernstein. We lose PP, but we get more construction speed and output. Or you lose a lot more things and you get more construction speed. I'll probably go with this one, actually. I think I prefer this guy. So, I prefer this for now. Thank you. 1.47, not bad. Followed up with what? Oh, uh, no. Ben Green, no. I like this one. Shamir? Ah, China's falling apart. Yay. But after national rebirth. Cultural rebirth. I want that daily political power gain. That'd be very, very nice. Oh, there's no description here. Oh, that sucks. Uh, we'll get 10% more political power, get more stability, daily acceleration, support, and more PP anyways. Oh, what else do we have here? Uh, eh, one can kind of wait. I think I'm just going to grab more stability first. I think that'd be really good to do. 18 principles of the Lehi. Lehi. Police crackdowns, monthly population. Uh, yeah, we could probably do that one. Streamline education and reform the Neset. Even more political power. Loyal Holly Command. State media. Ooh. Can use kamikaze pilots. Matas of Zion. They can throw no longer. Okay, cool. Uh, Interwar artillery is very nice to have. Tanks are coming along. We got some cast too. That's very nice. Uh, radar, perhaps? Maybe? Nothing else there. That's fine. And we're making that city, which is really nice. Actually, before even I started doing this, um, actually, since we are here, prepare defenses. 
Oh, was this AI going down this way? Oh. Oh, actually, before we do that. Oh, actually, this stuff wanted us to go down either mobile warfare or superior firepower. Mm. Oh, we're already so far down the way we already came, but this would be so much better if we actually went down this way. We get five. I know this last time as well, but... Hmm. We get more entrenchment, but attacking doesn't really help us out that much. I like the supply consumption, but... But we get bonuses to this one, too. Ah, we'll go back here. Screw it. Ah, screw it. We'll do it. Why not? It's not like we're at war right now, right? So, I think I want to get more stability first. So, we're this one political power and research speed. Align the arts and academia. They're just too slow. Prissy scholars, lipstick and dress, the same effing books, sports, movies. If we put a hundred bullets in their mushy brains, deafening them with our euth euthany, they're gone. We'll put it. We'll put in a quick lit. Everyone will love it. Yay! Also, we have the United Techniques of America here, led by Howard Scott. We have Papa Joseph there, avant-garde France, of course, and I, I think it did this on, did this on historical. So, and who's in the UK? Mark Sykes, six, Mr. Raymond, and Venice seems like it's a demilitarized zone. Ah, Italo Balbo, Mr. Italo. All right, not bad. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually do a lot of this. Use a lot of this stuff. I don't, maybe don't mind getting logistics companies, maybe. But it's nice having four research slots. Um, over here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna wait for that one. I don't want to lose political power, but I don't hurt, mind hurting the recruitable population just slightly. And losing political power for more resource efficiency gain, which we don't have much of. Actually, we don't really probably need. Construction speed factory output, that's fine with us. Culture of above. And the United Army. Eh, we can wait for that one. Cool. And the third temple. A new Levant. Ooh. Purge the rabble. Um, finish a purge. The Lehi domination of the revisionist cause is still not complete, while Stern and his allies are in firm control. The Harut and reactionaries in Ergun persist. It is time they swore to uphold the 18 principles or face the consequences. Yeah, like I said, I was saying earlier, like, but when you set this up, when you play the British Mishrik, um, like, you can constantly get more people to come to the coastal plain. I actually got up to 1.36 million. You started, like, 700,000 or something like that? Or maybe it was higher? I don't know. The devs might have fixed that a little bit, so. But I don't remember exactly. Something like that. We definitely need more military factors. We are making artillery, which is actually really nice. We just need these things for now because we have recon, I think, on our guys, or engineers. So, more guns, more artillery, better equipment. Stuff like that. I don't know, something like that. Cool. Um, what else can we do here? Uh, I don't mind raising that up a little bit more. I would like to maybe get to us because that's usually pretty good. But we're finishing the purge. Uh, Marty daily command power increase is not bad. Support the Canaanist movement. I like that. Stream on education. Purge the rabbis. Oh boy. Oh, get a resistor slot. So let's probably do that one too. Streamline education. Five. Education. Educate the nation to love freedom and zealously guard Israel's eternal patrimony. Israel is the master of its own fate. The sword and the book came bound together from heaven. Because God said so. Alright. I got some technology done. Thank you very much. Um, What else do we have here? Ships? I'm pretty much just going to be ignoring ships throughout this one. Oh, we're on strategic destruction. That is different. But let's go down it. I've never. I think that's the last time I actually went down that route. Finishing the purge. And then followed up with universal Jewish culture. Whether reform or orthodox, secular or conservative, Israel is the home of the Jews and the culture. A Jewish universalism and fraternity binds all the chosen people. Very good. I'm not sure you can have a refinable we'll dude anyways, because we can. Why not? Um, actually, just go and do that one. I'm not sure if we're actually going to go to war with other people. But we'll see what happens, especially after we build the third temple. So, Oh, Armenia is getting killed by the Turks. How normal. And Vipasha, mass starvation on the continent. Oh, boy. I know there's quite a few people that want me to play Red Flood Turkey. But at the time of this recording, they just don't have a focus tree yet. Or at least a unique one, so... I'm just waiting for them to get a focus tree, and then I'll play Turkey. I promise. Armenia kind of has a... Hmm, Armenia does. A fragile democracy. An Armenian army. Why is that 68432 6, amount of manpower? That seems so random. <sighs> Going up by 0 .01 every day, as it should be. Alright, so... Oh, and there we go. Goodbye, Armenia. Huh. <laughs> 
That kind of sucks for you. Actually, does the Southeastern Union have a focus tree? Oh, Kali did, huh? No, they did not. That kind of sucks. Well, I mean, they sort of do. Part of it's generic, but this is not, so. Streamline education. And universal Jewish culture. Okay, is there anything here I, that we really want or need? Nothing there. Um, Jewish armaments. Jack and Megan. Magen. Uh, this helps you research stuff, but... Mm, cast. I love the cast. And so, not really. I guess we just go to this one immediately if you really wanted to. It's only 5%. It's better to keep our PP for now. I'll get more political power there. The Law of Return. Mainstream Hebrew. One people in Zion. It's not bad, because I did all this stuff before. I think I, we can just wait on this stuff. I need to get more multi-population, which is nice. And you can help these people down here. Re reunite with their brothers, but... You know, it is what it is. Return from America. Maybe get some field hospitals. Those could be pretty useful right now. But I think up next, we'll go ahead and do... I want to try the third temple. A new Levant, huh? Also, get down here. Restore Jerusalem. I want more factories and cities. Support the Kenyanist movement. The Kenyanites... Kenyanists are an important avant-garde movement or artists and writers. They've been staunch supporters of the Lehi, Lehi and revisionist Zionism. We ought to return the favor into the form of the official patronage for the works. Political Kenyanism is in its infancy, but it promises to be the bulwark of cultural growth as Israel needs. And no manpower, because we didn't need any, right? Ah, uh, sure, go and do that, because you can. Ah, uh, universal Jewish culture. Very nice. Ah, more accelerationism. What is this? Cultural birth. And education. Very good. But we must restore Jerusalem. 18. The temple. The third temple must be built as a symbol of the new tool of total redemption. Um, stability is looking really good. Let's get even more right now. I want maxed out at Congolese unification. We civilized men do our utmost to check the process of elimination. We build asylums for the imbecile. And with vaccination, the weak members of civil, civilized societies propagate their kind. Cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, screw up. Let's do this anyways. I don't want to see that anymore. So then we'll do that one. Third Temple will be really cool. What is this? Ally with the French. Oh. Context in West Africa. Current ruling party is accelerationist. Oh, Liberia is not accelerationist. Okay, well then. Six partnership. Oh, Euphrates? Oh, holy crap. Revenge on the Hittites. Strike north. British threats in Egypt. Oh. Oh, boy. Um, I don't think we're really ready for that. We're probably going to die going down this route, so... We'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Demand absolute fanaticism. That's not bad, actually. Especially if you have no map power. Anyways, you know we have no map power? We might as well do it right now, right? Are we still mobilizing? No, that's 30, 30 people get every month. That's fine. So, a new priesthood. That'd be kind of cool. Purge the rabbis. Well, I do want to do a United Army as well. Ooh, we get more population, though. United Army is only 35 day focus, so we'll probably do that one. And see what we can do after that. Because right now, we're building up infrastructure. Nah, I think we need more... Ooh. Go with three more civvies. And then we'll make three more millies. Why did you switch that around, though? Do like that. Just because we want to make sure we can max out everything we have here. I mean, three is good, but it's not good enough. It's just not good enough yet. Hey, 90% is not bad. Restore Jerusalem. Theorists. Actually, how's research coming along? Oh. It's coming along very nicely. Get more output. We need more output immediately. And after infrastructure destruction, we're going to go ahead and try to get better artillery. No, better guns. No, artillery. No, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, actually. So, Good. Good, 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 good. We can give even more acceleration support. But once we get through all this stuff, too. Uh, restore Jerusalem. Yes. I'd like to do that one, but... Ah, we're coming up north. That's right. The United Army. I want to get those land auction bonuses. Uh, we could do the IDF next. That probably would be okay. But field hospitals are very nice. Better guns, yes, please. We must create a formal army of the national defense. The militias that fought for independence are desperate and disorganized. We will not survive without a proper chain of command. 3% more population. 5% uh, more division organization is always very, very good. And then we'll grab some cap. And we'll keep going on this way. Mobile defense is fine. 5 research shots. Very strong. Very, very strong. I love it. I hope you love it as well. And currently we are 46% accelerationist supporters. Uh, what's next here? Carpet bombing. 
A United Army, establish your IDF, yes, please. We could definitely, definitely, definitely need that. Um, let's see. Actually, last time, I believe I chose this one, the Jewish Armaments. No, I chose Magen, probably, because of all of the benefits you get. I'm going to go this way. Get more Breakthrough Soft Attack and Heart Attack this time. And then acquire arms and ammo. What are soldiers without arms and ammunition? A mob in uniform. A properly equipped army is guns aplenty and ammo to spare for each man. Oh, and there goes Italy. A few is doing quite well. Despotic. Hopefully France wins. I want them to win. Good. Fiume is looking pretty good right now. Nice. We're not going to increase anything we have for them yet, or start making them, just because we literally can't support it yet. I'd love to, but we can't do it yet, which sucks. Ah, yes. They're quite arms and ammo, because we could use the millies very quickly. And then, uh, I did, I would like to do this, but we just don't have tanks. There's literally no point to go down this way if you don't have tanks. Not really. Uh, static Force, though. We'll do that one next, just because I want to get those three 100% bonuses. Because Spirit Fire Power is still the best at the time of recording, but... I don't mind, um... Grand Battle Plan, but... Spirit Fire Power is where it's at, really. The Cossack State, huh? I need to play Yugoslavia sometime, too. And Nikola Tesla. Uh, can we see how this war is going? I'd like to see how this war is going. French-Italian War, that's a lot of dead. Uh, it's not great for you, France. Comparatively... They're paying a heavy price for it. Oh, and they've been backed up. Oh, boy. Arms and revolution. Uh, let's do static force next. Why not? Yugoslavia and Bulgaria. Very good. And let's go ahead and read about what else. What else do we have down here? Uh, I want to do the third temple. Let's do the 18 principles of Lehi, which I'll probably do off screen, as well as Euphrates to the Nile. The promised land was once told to lie between the Nile and the Euphrates. If that is what was promised, that is exactly what we will get. Alright everyone, so it's almost 1940 right now, and I've already gone ahead and finished what we just read off the screen. Um, which was, of course, Euphrates to the Nile, uh, Yugoslavia is doing some stuff, and we've already done 18 Principles of Leahy, and Independent Production. So we got about... Okay then, cool. Um, get through more military factors, which we could really, really use. Obviously for guns, support equipment, all this good stuff. We will need an Air Force. I'll probably, actually probably want more of an Air Force before we get light tanks, if anything. Um, Independent Production is very good though, very, very good. Uh, we could out of the French modern artillery, though. It would be really nice. It's only 35 days. But let's go ahead and do state-run media. Ooh, I kind of like that. But ally with the French, purge the rabbis. I do want to do New Levant. Ally with the French, we could. They did beat Italy, but the Leahy's friends and few may have been quick to introduce us to the French NFAG, especially those in the Escadron faction. Warm words have been exchanged for weeks, but the time has come for formal diplomatic moves. Hopefully they accept us. Because the French loves the Jewish people. Hey, Amon, yes. Sure, why not? We're still training our guys down here. We have 21 divisions because of all the stuff we're doing right here. Um, I did increase this to from 12 combat width to 14 combat width, which is why we have, like, no guns. And our tiller is looking not too bad. I've already upgraded them once, and as you can see, I've not upgraded these guys too much at all. It is what it is. We could use a bit more steel, but uh, that's why we love the French, right? That's why we love the French. More guns, please. 35 guns a day is not enough. And we got some mountaineers just in case. I might use them. We'll see. We don't have a lot of army XP, as you as you can, t you can tell. But, um, yeah. Because hmm. that takes a lot of army XP. And I want to save at least 10. Just so we can make our guys 20 combo with, for real. <clears throat> now we do that. And we do this. And then we do some of that. That's not bad. But it does cost quite a bit, though. And maybe throw on another arty, perhaps? Make these guys pretty really with as well. Um, okay, so you guys are all the guys we're making. You are Samson's Foxes group, which is 12 combo with, but your experience, you guys are Lehi Militia, which is not very good. It's okay, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. There, become that. Jordan? Can we beat up Jordan? It says we'll be successful. I just don't know, just because I want to go to war with them, do new Levant. Forcing stability. Do we get cores on them? I'd love to get cores, but it's dangerous to not get... Oh. 
Okay. Stan stayed in his office. The 18 principals stood tall on the opposite wall, bearing down on him. He pondered them for a moment before there was a knock at the door. The reply from Les Soyle finally arrived at his office, and he was ready to begin reading out or reading to find out what exactly it was about. Stan was pleased with his results. The French agreed to support Israel in the fight against the reactionaries. This will have many benefits for both sides for Jews. And it would be technological, military and economic development for the French. The opportunity to increase their influence in the Middle East, Africa, and uh, Middle East and Africa. Leaving the British and the colonies in a stalemate. A toast to the future, children. A revenge on the Hittites. It is not enough to push the Arab king out of Israel. The people of Syria must be shown that we will never forget slights. Those descent of the Hittites of old must pay a price. Followed up with... Uh, modern artillery would actually be pretty good to do. So there's not really much that we can do. Uh, we're still getting some civvies. we got some mobile defense. We're going to grab integrated support next because we love that. Uh, I, want, I want conflict. Oh wait, we, get, we have claims in all this territory, right? We have claims. We don't have cores, which I really don't like. Wait. Oh, that's a Syria. I thought it was Austria. And also, Austria is dead because Germany. That's a Yugoslavia. That's huge. Poland. What happened to What happened to Belarus? What the heck? Basic universal income. Well, they killed off Oz Israel and uh, not Israel, but Austria and Switzerland, I guess. But oh boy. But luckily, oh Yugoslavia's not. Oh, that's a big hmm. One to boom. And the Commonwealth of Nations as well. Oh, they're down there too. Yeah, we're, we're surrounded by the Commonwealth of Nations, which sucks. Hopefully they can win. The French can. Let's see what happens. If we need more extra manpower, we can do this. Bing bong. There you go. Not bad over here. Okay-ish. Not great. Not bad over here too, so. As you can see, we do have a lot of divisions. Hopefully we can get a lot of... My hope is we get a lot of equipment from capitulating these guys. Because we, we need a lot of equipment. We definitely, definitely, definitely do. Okay, we got them. We could pop with them, but I don't want to pop with them. All right. Okay, we got, we're good on guns. Not bad. I like it like that. And we have uh, maxed out stability now. We have maxed out war support. Take desert. Oh. Oh, we are not gonna have enough guns for this. I don't want to. I don't want to go to war just yet with these guys, just because we don't have the means to put down the garrisons or put, you know put down resistance and stuff because we don't have enough guns. Actually, never mind. We do have more than enough guns actually. I hope we get cores. I really hope we get cores. How strong is Saudi Arabia? Oh, ooh. That's going to be a hot battle. That's going to be very hot doing this. Support weapons are nice. We can do that. We can do that too. And we will need to raise the conscription level. Let's go and do that now, though. Limited conscription. Thank you. Revenge on the Hittites. Ah, uh, I love it. Oh, and it's research. Happy 1940, though, everyone. Happy, 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 happy 1940. Oh, we can take Beirut, Syria. But let's call out the British threats in Egypt. Um, the eternal Anglo's dominance in Egypt is a blight on the promised land. We should move it to excise them like the foul parasites that they are. I hope we can win here fast enough, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, boys, Saudi Arabia time. Let's see what we can do. We're doing well here. Okay ish, okay ish. Not great. But that's pretty much. Oh! Um, sure. Ah, yes. Israel causing wars. For the greater kingdom, of course. For the greater kingdom. Oh, yes, guys, yes. Support equipment. Oh, our guys will just give us all the guns and artillery that we need. Yes. Hey, oh, it became even better in attack now. Very nice. Oh, do you have any upgrades? Oh, yes. Logis oh, God, yes. We need logistics so badly. Supply's going to be so bad. It's just... It's not even logistics now. It's just the desert. It's just so flipping hot down here. Hello. Oh, hello. Wait. Did you... Fima, you won. Um... You look a little bit like Italo Balbo. I'm not going to lie. You look a little bit like him. But if you want to read about his biography, please go right ahead. Oh, you can't even read all of it. It's so long. Holy crap. Yes, the French have... Oh, the French have sent their tanks. Oh, we love the French. Take Beirut. Oh, take the Great Riverbank. Okay, so we can take them out. And they'll leave. Oh, yes, baby. Please. You can probably continue cutting down these divisions, though. There you go. Nice. British that's in Egypt. And then modern artillery, which I was going to do earlier, but whatever. Hopefully we can win quick enough so they don't do too much against us. Can we actually beat the crap out of them? They're still a puppet. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, so that's good for Iraq. They leave and stop being a puppet of them. That's actually really nice. I like that a lot. Oh, they're coming through here. Yes. Oh, we cut them off. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, the desert's so flipping hot. Why is that be so hot? Our legs are burning. It's too hot. Ah, the Jews from East Anglia. Look at some Welsh Jews. Supposedly. 
With the help of the French? It's just 1940. Germany and them are not killing each other yet, which is weird, but whatever. That's fine with us. We can actually probably go down a little bit more. So we can maybe start getting some motorized, get some anti-air. All that stuff would be really good. We can't make anything, so. There you go. Very cool. Very cool. So flipping hot down here. Cal GD's 5,000 versus. Not bad. Not bad. Um, nice. Planning speed's fine. We'll do it to you. It's a little bit ahead of time for us. Radar, I guess? Might as well, I guess. There is such speed. We're still doing well with this stuff. 1940. Field hospitals? Uh, how much support equipment do we have? Probably not any. Yeah, we really don't have any. Which sucks. We need more artillery, too. Which is very bad, but whatever. At least the guy's getting experience, right? Uh, good, 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 good. And we'll do defensive operations. Get even more purifier power bonuses. Oh, we can modify the government as well. Um, we don't have planes, really. So, and I'd love to do naval stuff, but I'd rather do stuff that we can use immediately. We get more defense. Line out of, we do get, I almost never choose this. And we do get more recon. I like the less supply consumption and better defense. But you know what? Let's go with something I don't always choose. Yakov Merador. More land out of attack. More recon. Supply grace goes up. Less out of supply. Just in case. We'll try something different here, right? Oh, we got him. Ah, uh, yes, please. All right, my friends. Cancel on these for now. That is fine with us. We're going to go straight to Iraq. Actually, no, screw everybody. No, don't screw everybody. That, that, that leads to a lot of diseases. But let's come over here. There we go, and I think we're going to really cut down the army now. We need a lot of garrison soldiers. I hope to God we can core all the stuff. Defensive operations. I knew Levant. Oh, so we need to kill everybody else first. That's fine. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. It is halfway through 1940. Planes? Because what you can. Because why not? Oh, we need more political power, too. Oh, that sucks. Actually, just hanging out here is not too bad. Bolivia, thank you very much. Um, what are we doing here? Building up some more cities. That's fine. It's fine, 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 fine. Yeah, I don't think Israel's going to be... Or, Iraq is going to do anything against us. To the Nile? I'd love to do that, but... Yes. Now they're independent. They're all alone. And Abdul the first? Goodbye, Abdul. Let's go, boys! Oh, wait, are we fighting these guys, too? No. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Whew. Yeah, we cannot beat the UK. But with our French allies, we actually might be able to. Iran seeks an agreement. Iran is set to create a diplomatic alliance, just officially an agreement to partition the small, weak politics of the Levant to a favor, especially considering our ardent rhetoric regarding our territorial claims. Tehran has offered to us all lands beyond the Euphrates, whilst we shall not touch to or interfere with the territory east of the Euphrates. Should we accept? Um, we got claims all the way up to Iraq, so as long as they don't get Iraq, we'll kind of be okay. Uh, we'll say okay, because I don't want to deal with them, because we'll have to deal with other groups here as well. We can probably win the war against Iraq first before things get too bad, so. Um, state media. Romanticized death. I kind of like that. It would give more breakthrough as well. A new priesthood. We could probably wait to do this one. Um, or form the Nasset? Why not? The Nasset is foundational to Israel's politics, but it does not follow the principles of rebirth. This error must be corrected, of course. Come on, break over here to break over here. That's all you need. Or take Al Fallujah. That's not bad. Oh, Romania too, huh? It's fine. Ba the key to Baghdad is open. Come on, guys. Keep going. You're doing well-ish. Crap. <clears throat> guys, go down here. Seriously, you gotta go do, do this one first. You Now you guys can do that. There you go. Oh, my goodness. We're losing quite a few guys, which is not good. Eh, 6,000 not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'll do this, yes, but no. I'm not coming in yes yet. No, 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 no. Come on, take Baghdad, guys. Come on. Come on. Ah, we got Baghdad. Nice. Hey, we got him. All right, so I think that's going to end us here for today. Israel is expanding quite quickly. And, oh, my goodness. Holy crap. The Germans are doing crazy here. That is a little nice to see. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, oh, they do have Romania, too, which kind of sucks. But, hey, 
I think we'll end the episode there. We're reforming the Nasset, and tomorrow we will continue to get everything else over and do a new Levant just to see what happened and we'll be known as the State of Greater Israel. Um, let's go and read. Oh, I'll do Loyal Hawkman off there and State Media and maybe Romanticize Death. Is there anything more glorious than to die for Israel? To defend the chosen people from those who destroy Zion? No, 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 no. There is glory in death and our soldiers will be martyrs. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we have a good time with Syria. Lebanon and Egypt. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.